let's do some knotless braiding on our beautiful model amber first we're going to start off with the lock method to lock in the moisture content into our hair l stands for leave-in so i'm going to use clean beauty's leave-in everyday treatment to balance out the moisture in our hair c stands for cream so i'm going to use tea tree moisture milk to soften and moisturize her hair strand this is going to be done on damp hair O stands for oil, so I'm going to be using Tea Tree's Hemp Replenishing Oil. This is going to seal in and lock in that moisture content that we placed on the hair. This is a great pro tip to use prior to braiding to get that stretch and return on that hair strand. I'm going to use a brush to evenly distribute the product throughout her hair. Another great pro tip is to use heat to drive in that moisture content. Based on her texture and formation, I'm going to be using a high to medium heat to drive in that moisture content. Another great pro tip is to pre-stretch her coil prior to... Once you have pre-stretched the hair, another great pro tip is going to be to pre-section the hair out prior to braiding. This is going to help speed up the time and help you get to your desired end result faster. Once I pre-section the hair out, I'm going to go on with Paul Mitchell's Maverick High Hold Pomade based on her texture and formation. It's going to give me more hold and control of her flyaways and help me get cleaner parts. So once I apply it towards the base, I'm going to separate the hair into three equal parts. Based on her density, I'm going to add in the synthetic hair to balance out her density. I'm going to place it into the middle, into the outside strand. Always twist the middle hair strand over the outside left, then twist the middle hair strand over your right. I make it to my dominant side, I'm going to feed in the hair. Then you're going to twist the middle over the outside left twist the middle over the outside right and I'm gonna add in another hair strand for the length once I get to my dominant side keep your hands closer to the base for tension a great pro tip is going to be to tuck her natural hair that is what makes this a protective style because you're going to protect her natural hair. You want to slightly spread out the synthetic hair over her natural texture. Keeping the tension tight, you're going to continue to braid all the way through the ends. This knotless protective braid style is great because it pull up provides less tension at the base. This can be worn anywhere from six to eight weeks. A great take home recommendation product is going to be Clean Beauty's Scalp Therapy Drops because we want to make sure that she has a healthy scalp. It's going to hydrate and keep her skin moisturized as she has a protective style. Another great take home recommendation is going to be Paul Mitchell Sculpting Foam. Let's go over the technique again. I'm going to use Maverick High Hold at the base, section the hair into three equal parts. Once you do so, based on her density, add in the synthetic hair, twist the middle strand over the outside, strand left to right. Once I get to my dominant side, I'm going to add in my synthetic hair based on the density and the end result that I desire. You're going to continue to twist the middle piece over the outside piece, spreading the synthetic hair over her natural curl. Add in another hair strand for length. Keeping your hands close to the base to keep tension tight. As you break down, your pro tip is going to be to tuck her natural hair underneath the synthetic hair. Here you can see me spreading the hair over her natural hair to protect her natural curl. Continue to keep your hands close to the base for tension and spread and tuck her natural curl to create your protective style. 
When using palmetto sculpting foam, it's a great way to seal in and condition the hair while in the protective style. You're going to braid the hair and tuck the hair all the way from base all the way through her ends and braid down through the ends. Once you braid down through the ends, a great way to maintain this style is going to be to use a silk bonnet or maybe a silk scarf when you are resting. You would use your scalp therapy drops on the scalp and then you're going to use hot water to seal those ends. This is going to help seal in the ends so that they don't unravel. You want to use two towels, one to protect your guests and one to protect you. Once you dip it in the hot water, you want to grab your towel, you want to hold the hair tight, and you want to pull through the ends. And this is going to help seal in your style. Thanks for doing knotless braiding with us.